Hey, come on, it's 9 p.m. The fireworks have started. Let's get to the balcony. Hush, just come on. I want to watch these with you. You don't have the option to say no anymore. You already agreed. No, you don't get to play your game anymore. Save and pause it. This is important to me. Come on. We talked about seeing these together from the balcony of the apartment. I will not allow you to miss this when you already agreed to do this with me. I'll drag you to the balcony if I have to. Come on. If I don't see you following me, I will drag you out of that chair myself. Look at them. Fireworks. Right above the city. I researched so much about this show in preparation to see them with you. Just so I knew what to expect. Funded and put on by the Lovell family. They somehow got permission from the city and rented out the top of an apartment building not too far from here. They set up an estimated nine minutes worth of big fireworks for us, people in the city, to enjoy. Since we can't set any off because of city lines. Look at all the other people on their balconies. <laughs> we aren't... A, well, I guess I'm not the only one who had the idea. You're kind of... Willingly forced here, since I wanted to experience this with you. I, I know it's been a while since you've been out here, but careful leaning on this railing. It's really rusty. Borderline safety hazard. Though, if I died while looking at these giant fireworks with my best friend, I don't think I'll have died all too unhappy. Uh, because I would be away from you. That's why. <laughs> Joking, of course. Some people get these things, these shows, upwards of three times a year. Meanwhile, I haven't seen them in years. Those people live in something I would easily call paradise. These things are... something. I, I don't know why they mean so much to me. They just make me so happy. I could stare for hours and hours and hours at the same exact fireworks show recording and never get tired of the lights. If it played on repeat, I would happily watch it over and over and over again, memorizing the flicker of each pop. I just have a very strong liking of fireworks, even if I can't see them as often as other people, or as often as I'd really like to. <laughs> like a deep-rooted connection of some sort. Maybe I was a firework maker in my past life. Or maybe died by firework. Well, then I wouldn't like it, but... <laughs> what a way to die. In a certain way. It's like my connection to you. My attention is split between my connection with the fireworks and their beauty. And my connection with you and the little bonding moment we are sharing together through the burning lights of the sky. Hmm, nah, that sounds like a star. Through the burning gunpowder of the sky. <laughs> That's more like it. Exactly like the way it is with fireworks. I don't know why I like you so much. How I have this odd, deep connection with you. 
I can't tell you why I want to be so close to you, emotionally and physically. Even back when we first met, you just had an odd charm to you. I saw you as an electrical spark, and I happened to be quite dry and flammable. You set me ablaze the moment I got to know you. Really, the moment I saw you. Just like how a small, burning piece of firework can start a whole forest fire once it lands. From your face, to your voice, to your personality, to the things that you like, and everything in between. Something. Everything about you. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I didn't think about how that would sound before I said it. Any of it. Um, but I wouldn't consider what I said to be too far from the truth. Mainly because I didn't think about a filter. So, take that as you will. I suppose... Uh, I suppose labeling that as a confession... It is accurate. It, it just slipped out... I'm just so happy watching the fireworks that it, it just, it, it just came out. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say any of it. Just forget you heard anything. I, I didn't mean it anyway. I didn't even make any sarcastic remarks. How could I have meant it if, I'd, if, Take it you're not too against what I said, with what you just did, right? <sighs> a confession and a kiss under city fireworks. Like a dream, because this is how I imagined it. Night after night, even. With the same person I had envisioned it with. I need to start thinking before I speak. Okay. I've thought about what I'm going to say, and I'm still going to say it. I... I like you. Love you, even. And I, I want you to be mine. Mine alone, and no one else's. God, this is embarrassing. So... Instead of just being my roommate, or my best friend, will you be mine? Completely, totally mine? Hey guys, Garat here. I, I don't like this script. I don't like this script, but I didn't want to write a new script and so I used it. I'm not really that proud of the video, I'm sorry. <laughs> I hope that you guys enjoyed though. I, I do hope that you guys enjoyed. Whenever I was making this video, this was my second time recording this because the first time the file corrupted, I lost the audio. So that's why I had to take the day off yesterday because I was not going to do all of that work that I had done again especially for a script that I didn't really enjoy. I eventually got it done, as you can see. You're listening to this now. Hello. Hi. Um, but, yeah. If you like this video, like, comment, subscribe. I love and chat comments. And you made this for us, so why not subscribe? Join the Patreon and the Discord. And, yeah. Bye-bye.